I wonder if you could uh, comment on the necessity of communications between clinicians and scientists for the advancements of personalized medicine to into clinical practice. Okay, so this communication is essential for both sides, for the basic scientists and for the clinicians. For the basic scientists, because they often get new ideas about certain disorders or about certain symptoms and clinical findings, which will help them to look more specifically at the possible etiology and pathophysiology of different disorders. And on the other hand, for the clinicians, it's very important to talk regularly to basic scientists because then they can increase their knowledge about physiology, biology, molecular biology and things like that. And then they also may rethink new ideas about how certain diseases may be caused. And I think that's the major reason why there should be combined conferences. And that's something we're still missing. So conferences between basic scientists and clinicians. Most often you have a congress on cardiology, for instance, cardiologists, clinicians only. And on the other hand, a congress on physiology of the cardiovascular system. So they do not really communicate. And although we have emails, we have uh, other ways to communicate. The best way is just to talk to each other after lectures, in the breaks, face to face. I wonder if you can talk a little bit about what might be possible going from the bedside back to the bench. I know this is difficult and this is unusual, um, but I think clinicians uh, also have often good ideas on how certain drugs may work or ideas that a drug may work at all in this or that disorder. And I think they should be self-confident and talk to basic scientists and cooperate with them. And then, for instance, we can much better understand how certain drugs work. And we can also find new indications for certain drugs. If you know this drug works on this potassium channel, oh, then it may work in a bladder disorder. And originally it was designed to work in cerebellar disorders. So I think this is very important and it makes also a lot of fun, this communication. Do you think that most physicians and clinicians are, have the right mindset to communicate in that way, given their different training backgrounds? Oh, the point is, I think they have too much routine work. So they will start at 8 or 6 in the morning, the surgeons, and they finish at 4 or 6 or 8 p.m. So there's too much routine uh, to be done. So they need more time for thinking, uh, more time to develop ideas, more time also to speak to their patients, which is very important. Um, so, and less bureaucracy on the other side. I think, I think that's one way how we can solve that problem, to focus on the things the doctors have learned and not doing things they're not very skillful in.